Hello everybody and welcome to your official Lug guitar lessons. I'm so glad you joined me. My name's Emily Zimmer. I'm gonna be your teacher. Let's rock. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through all of your basics, all the way from how to hold and tune the guitar, to basic picking and strumming, to playing some really fun, easy songs. And what's cool is, while you're doing this, you're also gonna be training your memory, your focus, your listening skills, all while you rock out. Now, I want everybody to remember that music's not a race. Keep in mind that some people might learn a song in a day, Others might take longer, and you know what? That's totally cool. I want you to go at your own pace and enjoy yourself. Now, what's fun about guitar is that you can do two different things on it. You can play both melodies. That's when you play one note at a time, kind of like this. And you can also play chords, which is when you play at least three separate notes at the same time, like this. So you're gonna learn lots of those in these lessons. Now, if you're just starting out on guitar and if you're young and you have small hands and you want a nice small guitar that really fits and that you can play really easily, then you wanna pick up one of these three string Lug guitars. Like this one, this is the three string Lug Pro. There's also the Lug Mini, which is a little bit smaller for really small hands and then, after you learn some things, if you want to go ahead and graduate to six string Lug guitar, the Lug Pro 6 is where it's at for that. All of these guitars are super easy to play. They've got nice thin strings. They're nice and small for small hands. And they're super, super fun. Let's go over some of the guitar terminology that I'm going to be using in the lessons because you want to know what I'm talking about, right? Let's talk about your two hands. This hand right here, the one that's going to pluck or strum the strings, that's called your picking hand. Picking is when you pluck one string at a time, and strumming is when you play all three of them. So this is your picking or strumming hand. Now, this hand right over here, this one is called your fretting hand. Now, what does that funny word fretting mean? Well, if we look at your guitar, this long part right here, this is called the neck of the guitar, has something special on the front of it. On the front of it, it's got these spaces here, and those are where you put your fingers to make different musical notes, like this. And these spaces where you put your fingers, these are called frets. And we number these frets, first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret, and so on and so forth. Now, the part of the neck where the frets live, that's called the fretboard. So you've got your frets, you've got the neck, you've got the fretboard. The fret hand fingers we're also going to number. This is going to be finger one, number two, number three, and number four. Let's talk about our strings. Now on the three string guitar, we have first string, second string, and third string. Now our strings are numbered from high pitch to low pitch. So in music, we have higher notes and we have lower notes. The string that plays the highest notes, the thinnest one, that's your first string. Your second string is the one in the middle on a three string, okay? And your third string is this one right here. Now on a six string guitar, you're gonna have first string, second string, third string, fourth, fifth, sixth. Now we've talked about what's going on with the neck of the guitar. Let's talk about the body of the guitar. That's this big part right here, closer to your strumming or picking hand. Now this is an acoustic Lug guitar. That means it doesn't need to be plugged into an amplifier to make a nice sound. It amplifies itself. So you can just play it out loud. Now an electric Lug guitar does need to be plugged into an amplifier and that's how it gets loud. Now 
at the end of the guitar right here, at the end of the neck, this is called our headstock. So it's kind of like a person, body, neck, and head, or headstock. And on the headstock, we have your three tuning pegs. And you use these to loosen or tighten your strings so that you can tune the strings to the correct pitch. Now we'll go over tuning in another lesson. Now I've had some people ask me, what if I'm left-handed? Well, if you're left-handed, you can either play the right-handed way, which is picking and strumming with your right hand and fretting with your left hand, or you can flip over the guitar and play what we call Hendrix style, similar to what Jimi Hendrix would do. And then what you play is just going to be upside down from what a right-hander would play. So you've got your third string here, your second string here, and your first string here. You make the chord shapes and your notes with your right hand. That'll do the fretting, and your left hand will do the picking. Now, another option for you is that you can take these strings and turn them around the other way. So you could restring this instrument so that your third string is here on top, and your second string is in the middle, and your first string is on the bottom. And that way, everything that you do is going to be the mirror image of what a right-handed player does. On a six-string guitar, you'll have to switch all the strings around, or just play Hendrix style, but with more strings. Either way is OK. Try a couple things. Decide what you like. Now, it's important that you understand that the first three strings of a traditional six-string guitar are the same as these three strings right here. So all of the chord shapes, all of the melodies, all of the skills that you learn on a three-string Lug guitar can be applied to the Lug Pro 6 if you decide to move to a six-string guitar. Thanks again for joining the Lug Guitar family and enjoy your lessons. Remember to subscribe to the Lug Guitars channel and press the bell icon so you can get notified every time we have a new lesson up. Until next time.